we spell here at Virginia Park for a, a variety of reasons. I guess the main one is to see an improvement in our pastures. I think our main benefit here from wet season spelling would be our increased percentage of preferred grasses, our 3P grasses, our buffalo, our uricloa, our saccharins. We've found that by not wet season spelling in the early years, that those grasses, they were just chewed down in that wet season period and they didn't have a chance to get going. But by wet season spelling, we've been able to build up the stock of those good grasses to improve our pastures, also the soil health as well. Wet season spelling reduces our erosion. We have better water quality and so on. So wet season spelling is a removal of stock from a paddock or an area for a period of time over the growing season. Forage report attracts the ground cover at Virginia Park and compares it to same land type within the district. What it shows is that during the drought, during 2000, cover was tracking quite low, it was below average. The business made some changes and started to rotate and spell country and you can see the response in the ground cover and it's now above district average which is a really good thing. If cover's high, generally land is in good condition and that means your pastures are in good condition. Northern grazing systems are built on grazing extensive areas of native perennial pastures. Wet season spelling is important for the long term critical health of these perennial pastures. It's also really good for looking after our soil and looking after the microorganisms and everything else that operates below the surface. The best time to spell pastures is during the wet season when they're growing and they have the opportunity to store energy back into those roots. Post grazing, the ability of pastures to recover is strongly influenced by the amount of leaf and the strength of their root system. So if you look after those things, those pastures recover and provide a future resource for the business. Constant grazing of pastures, you're removing the leaf, which is a chance of that pasture to capture sunlight. It affects, it weakens the root structure. So if you constantly graze, you're degrading that pasture until eventually you remove it from the system. Stocking country to its carrying capacity is extremely important because wet season alone will not make up for an overstocked pasture. Constant overstocking is detrimental to the long-term health of your pastures. The length of a spell period depends on what you're trying to achieve. So if land is in poor condition, sometimes you need to spell for the entire wet season. But if land's in good condition, a spell of six to eight weeks over the growing period is sufficient to look after those pastures. The way in which we got to this point, using wet season spelling, I guess it would have come from our own experience here with seeing degradation in the landscape from continually grazing, not spelling through the wet. The local Department of Agriculture also played a fair role in that some trials near Chartist Towers showed results that can be achieved by wet season spelling and we looked at that and thought, you know, that makes sense. So from that point on, I guess, we've continued to do it and we've continued to see good results by doing it. When you're looking at your paddocks, you always have a rough idea of your paddocks that need a bit of a rest and that need a bit of looking after. So we have that sense of which paddock we will be looking to spell, but we'll also talk about it and have a discussion as to which paddocks we may have to sacrifice. Because the reality of it is, is that even though we can wet season spell, those cattle have always got to be somewhere. It's important to understand your carrying capacity, but that's achieved by looking at your pasture at the end of your growing season, knowing the amount of cattle that you have, and then working out your sums, working out how long you can run cattle for with that amount of grass available. A lot of us fall into the trap whereby we don't go through that process, and come October, November, we end up running out of grass. So matching the stocking rate to the carrying capacity or grass availability is very important. Here at Virginia Park, we've certainly split a number of bigger paddocks up into smaller paddocks, split them in half or split them in quarters. Obviously by doing that, all those other paddocks will need watering points and so on. So we have spent quite a few dollars here putting in infrastructure to allow us to rotate paddocks more frequently and give us the ability to utilise the country a little bit better. Wet season spelling is going to give you the ability to grow more grass, that extra organic matter which you grow. It's going to give the soil the opportunity to get more organic matter back through into the soil. 
A key principle of all grazing systems is rest. So no matter whether it's a simple three paddock rotation or a 25 paddock cell, all those systems have a component of rest in them. How you integrate that is up to your business and how you want to run it, but they've all got rest in them. The only time the wet season spell is after effective rainfall because that's when pastures are growing. There is information available on when you can expect that rainfall to happen, but that's the critical start of a spelling. You need to be flexible. At some years, if the rain's not there, then the opportunity to spell might not be there. So you need to take the chance to spell when the seasons are with you. Your pasture is one of the most important assets for your grazing business and drives animal productivity. Wet season spelling can help to improve the quality and quantity of pasture and make them more resilient to drought and other climate extremes. For more information on wet season spelling, contact your local beef extension officer. Their details can be found at futurebeef.com.au